Hey everybody, this morning, the Clark County headquarters will host the Las Vegas Stadium Authority meeting at nine o'clock Pacific Standard Time. The Stadium Authority in a rush to complete all documents associated with the Oakland Raiders UNLV Stadium, proposed stadium, uh, will attempt to, I'm guessing, try to approve all 39 of these documents in one sitting dangerous because many of these documents have hairs when i say hairs i mean something wrong with them the one that i'm pointing to is the very last document on the meeting page it is called stadium authority requirements stadium authority review as required by section 36.1 of senate bill one okay or words to that effect anyway it's a resolution, and basically a resolution says, hey, look, the tax rate of 88 and 101% has brought in and is going to bring in enough money to retire the bond that we plan to float. That's basically what it says. And then it's supposed to have exhibits that go with that. There are no exhibits as of this making. I haven't seen any, none. So it's like a draft, you know, it's a, what they call a clean version of the document, okay? Anyway, I ran my own number. I figured, I found out, hey, look, if you do a $750 million bond issue, that's going to cost the taxpayers over time $284 million based on the average of just over $4 million, $4 million and $18,000 per month that, was generate, that has been generated uh, to date. Uh, versus for that bond, it'll be like 4.8 million per month, okay? Uh, so let's say you say, I'll go down to 650 million. Oh, and then you're gonna say, wait, 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 Zenny. That's a 30-year bond, what's the interest rate? 3.15% for double A rated bond. My sources tell me that's the best that can be expected. Now, okay, so let's say you drop it to 650 million, still a deficit, cost the taxpayers 52 million, okay? The stadium tax is too small. And my point here is for the stadium authority to even entertain signing a document that purports a situation that in point of fact is not that the stadium tax rate is bringing up money to retire the bond issue they planned and proposed of $750 million is simply so wrong it's criminal it's fraud and they should not be in a position where they look like that or hide numbers i'm not going to show these numbers to you even though you're playing with taxpayer dollars no i'm not right to do not at all it's not a matter of in this instance being for or against the stadium project it's a matter of wanting to see something done right and wanting to see government work. I don't care if it's in Cucamonga. Make the same case. That's wrong. And the Raiders should be very concerned that they are not in the middle of what one would call Raiders Deal 2. Because Raiders Deal 1, the city of Oakland, the Alameda County, wound up paying $12 million each because they didn't sell enough PSLs to meet the debt requirements on a bond issue that was let by the Joint Powers Authority, which is the city and the county. Doesn't this sound familiar, folks? Wake up. Wake up.